What's up guys, Game Fan Fan of All Games, and I'm back giving you another Drama Script of Saturday. On uh, this Drama Script of Saturday, I'm just going to briefly go over uh, Raw and a briefly bit of SmackDown. So, as you guys know, the Raw after WrestleMania is usually the biggest Raw of the year because everyone's still hyped up over just seeing WrestleMania. And with that, every time there's a Raw or, or a SmackDown after WrestleMania, they usually bring people up from NXT. So here's the people that got brought up. Ember Moon makes her appearance. It's, that's long awaited. Uh, Noe Jose and Authors of Pain. They're all now on Raw. And Bobby Lashley returns to WWE. Um, and he, you know, he really interrupted Elias's, uh, you know, show that he always does. I'm not really too excited about Bobby Lashley back in WWE. Um, I know he was on TNA for a while. I didn't catch any of his um, TNA work, so I'm going to wait and see if, you know, Bobby Lashley got any any better. But that's just me. Um, they announced that they're bringing back the, the, the draft, which they've, you know, since last year they've themed as a superstar shakeup. So I can't wait to see because they're going to, you know, move stuff around. Draft superstars are going to get moved from SmackDown to Raw and vice versa. That's that. A uh, funny segment, uh, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens showed up on Raw because since they lost the match at WrestleMania, they technically don't have a job. They can't go back to SmackDown. So they showed up on Raw and then Kurt Angle was like, um, no, he heard TNA is hiring, which is very, very funny. And then he put those two in a match together and the winner gets a slot on Raw, but the match ended in a double knockout. They both couldn't stand up to the 10 count. So you you never ever really see that plus in like a normal match. So that was interesting to see for for a first time in a long time. And then uh, Paige announced her retirement because um she re-injured her neck like three to four months ago in a match against Sasha Banks, and it's really really bad. So she no longer can wrestle. And then now she is now the SmackDown GM. And also announced on SmackDown that Daniel Bryan is wrestling full time, and he had a fantastic match against AJ Styles on the main event on SmackDown. And then Shinsuke Nakamura came and after the match and hit AJ Styles in the balls twice. Heel Shinsuke Knox. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much a very very short fast version of what happened on both Raw and SmackDown. Oh, and the Braun Strowman and Nicholas gave up the tag team champs and now there's a tournament and the, the winners of that tournament will face the bar at Backlash. But in my opinion, that makes the bar look like utter shit because not only did they lose to Braun Strowman and the 10-year-old, they just gave the titles up the next day. So to lose the titles, can't get your rematch up, now the titles are vacant yet again. Vacant's been on a roll these past two years. You know how many championships Vacant's been getting? It's, it's enormous. Uh, the WWE Network has hit the 2 million subscriber mark, which is good for the WWE Network. So it says it's a 9% increase from April 3rd of last year. So roughly it's 2.12 million total subscribers on the WWE Network. Which is which is good news. So, yeah, that's pretty much going to. Oh, Samoa Joe came back too. Forgot about that. Samoa Joe came back. Uh, he had a match against Roman Reigns at Raw, so it's good to see that Samoa Joe is back. And um, he's facing. He's gonna have a match with Roman Reigns at Backlash. So that's going to be an interesting match to, to see because they never really settled their feud because uh, Samoa Joe was out with, that, with a, soul, a, a soul, uh, shoulder injury, I believe. I'm not really quite certain. Someone in the comment section could co correct me on that. And then another thing that there was going to be Rusev versus Taker in a... And a casket match at the the greatest Royal Rumble, and then that got scrapped, so it got changed to Chris Jericho versus Undertaker in a casket match. 
And then it seems like there's like rumors that Rusev may be leaving the WWE. I don't know. It all seems like story to me, but you can make your own judgment. But yeah, that's going to wrap this up for this week's Drama Script Saturday. Remember, this is Drama Script Saturday every Saturday. And if you like what you have witnessed, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next Saturday, guys, I'll see you later. And peace.